All right, this is my new hex copter, and this one's a real simple one. Uh, it's just got, I've got the KK board on there. Uh, there's my spectrum receiver on one side and the satellite over on the other side. Uh, there's the, that's a Turnigy BEC that I'm using in there to drive the receiver. Um, these are Turnigy motors, 28, 26 prop drive NTM 1000 kV uh, I use these on my APM hex copter and they work great um, I've also got afro ESC's on here and I did not do anything with these I just bought the afro ESC hooked it up checked the direction and everything and it's all working fine um, the KK board is mounted on a little bit of a vibration reducing structure there um, But I didn't really go crazy with it I prefer to just reduce vibration of the aircraft itself and the KK board I don't know seems to be pretty tolerant of what I've been doing with it I built a quadcopter and then this one and I haven't had any real vibration problems um, with this kind of mount and then with just tape double sticky tape uh, on the other one um, I did remove the BECs from my ESC lines I think I'm gonna remove the brown wire too and just go straight across with these um, but but yeah it's working out pretty good so far so I just wanted to do a quick video to show how it flies it flies pretty good um, but I haven't done any tuning or anything, so I think I can make it better. Oh crap, a chin hook. A chin hook helicopter. It's the second one I've seen today. Anyway, uh, back to this thing. Um, I've got on the bottom, I've got the Thunder Power battery, which is, this one is a 6600 size. It's a four cell. Um, but it's a parallel pack, so it's a Thunder Power pack. Um, but I crashed with this one on my other copter, so it's a little scratched up there, but it's fine. Um, so we're gonna fly with that. I flew with a lighter weight battery already, and it worked really good. This one's not that much heavier, so it should be fine. Let's put the GoPro jock strap on our head here. We'll see here how this works hopefully i can get some good shots for you guys thus nobody else is out here it's a beautiful flying day nobody's out here at all <laughs> you know there's no safe way to plug these suckers in really you just kind of have to get down into it like this if these started up they would hit my jacket so they would be okay but Don't fly backwards, boy. <laughs> now, I have the self-leveling turned off because it's it wants to lean to the side, but the self-leveling is actually working. Um, it just isn't tuned to lean at the right angle yet. I'll get that fixed, but let's see here. Starting to get some mosquitoes out here. Uh, I don't like that very much. But hey, that's pretty darn good, you know, for a KK board hex that I just didn't tune at all. Boy, it's serious hard to see these things, though. But you can see it's like pretty stable. It's flying in acro mode right now. It's pretty stable. I got good heading control. I got good rudder response. And it's not like bobbing up and down too bad with that. Um, I got good left and right. And I got good front and back. It's really responsive. Uh, front and back sometimes a problem on these, but it's fine. 
um, and I got really good left and right. It's responding really nicely and it stays where it's supposed to be. Um, so that's really, really good. And I'm gonna just cut this video short because I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes here. So we'll land. Safe it. And I'm going home.